to you wherever that you're watching me from um i'm here with um another um a good news for um both um germany italy here i'm going to talk about asylum seekers okay and then um, the sanatoria and, and also a humanitarian document i'm gonna explain a lot of things right now so when you get this video please make sure you share this video to a friend or a brother and then tell them to subscribe if they have not yet subscribed to this channel okay yeah thank you so much for being here if today's your first time you know how we do it you subscribe and then you share to a friend also and then you hit the like button that is the most important thing that um i always want you to do to make this channel go very far okay so now germany has eased the restrictions on asylum seekers not asylum seekers in per se but asylum church asylum okay somebody may ask me what is church asylum okay for example you live in italy or you live in another european country and then you run to germany to seek an asylum so when your asylum seeker got finished your seeking of asylum got finished um there is something called church asylum that's where you run to the church for protection against deportation listen to me very careful those of you who are in germany most of you knows about this and if you don't know about it then that means it's your first time hearing this you run to the church for another protection that is called um church asylum okay now before germany put some um, restrictions on church asylum which makes it difficult for the church to protect you okay um so but now Germany has eased that those um, restrictions on the churches. So now you can run to the church to seek an asylum for um, against deportation. Okay, you know, I'm going to explain before when you go to Germany and you maybe you have your thumbprint in another country, which is Italy or any other country before you run away to Germany to seek an asylum. When your asylum got finished, they can deport you back to where the first country that you arrived which is italy or any greece or um wherever okay where you arrived before you get to their country they can deport you back to that place or they can decide to take you back to your country so now here comes we have um church asylum it is something that is there several years ago 2008 19 16 17 going it is there but just that they have um a lot of um, restrictions okay against um against them but now the government has is those restrictions so now you can run to the germany church asylum for more protection against deportation okay so um after running to the church they will grant you another six months okay to stay and if you are able to cope for that six months then after the six months that are staying in the church asylum they will the german can um, german government will what take you as a new asylum seeker that they will cancel that's the Dublin law, okay? It will be over. Your Dublin law or the Dublin will be over, whereby they will take you or they will grant you a new asylum and your case will be newly prepared to give you a, another hearing, okay? So the old one will be cancelled and the new one will begin to start it after the church has granted you the asylum of six months. They, then the country will what, take you as a new asylum seeker to what, grant you another hearing, Okay, so um, it says um, they will no longer send you back to where you come from or the second European country where you first seek asylum. They will now treat your case as a new person in the country. So the asylum seekers will now be able to stay in the church for asylum, for asylum protection after six months the processing of the document will start beginning so simply means you can run to the church for asylum in germany and they will grant you what the asylum and after the six months the they will they will take your case newly again okay which um which stop them from deporting you back to the country where you came from or back to the european country where you first take asylum before you get to their country so if you are here and you are watching me and you are in germany you can also attest to that on the comment box if in case you don't know and you want more details we can still give you more details about how you can start your own church asylum claim by going to the church to to ask for protection okay so that's what i have for you for german people if you are watching me and you are from germany please make sure you share to a friend maybe your friend knows about it they can also tell you or you can share to somebody else in germany and they will also want 
tells you more about that and if you're in germany you can please put it in the comment box if you already know and you don't know you can still put it in the comment box and i'll explain much much more better to you okay so first of all let's go to the italian um election okay you know there was a crisis a huge crisis in the um, the italian government whereby um um uh, what do you call um renze resigned renze is um a party together with um, Belanova, okay, they all resigned because they said um, the country is not working well or the ruling is not working well, it's not going well, so they had to ease the, um, they had to resign from the Conte's party, you know, Italy here, they, they come together to what, rule the country or to govern the country, okay, so now when they redraw, that means they have to go for election, and by the grace of God Almighty, um, after Renze and Belanova party has resigned, Conte still maintain the, uh, maintain what you call, maintain the seat, okay, or maintain power. Conte still have the power. They voted and Conte got about 156 yes, that is the vote. And the Senate confirms confidence in the Conte second again. Government with um, 156 votes in, in favor of Conte's party had to be affect but don't have the majority now contest to have the power yeah he's still ruling okay um started from monday they voted and everything went successful for mr conte so he still um he still have the power to rule which makes sabini becomes what a defeated again sabini has also defeated again and renze has also defeated but the problem here is conte doesn't have the majority okay but still have the power to rule um they don't have the majority does not affect um anything in this country it does not give Sabini the power to come in again no they voted yes for him to continue with um another parties they've joined together to rule the country again so which means Sabini has also what been defeated again and Matthew Renze has also what been defeated and um and um what do you call and Belanova's party with Belanova and Matthew Renze they are all in the same party which makes her agricultural minister they, since your party resigned, that means you are out of office. And we all know that um, Conte has been a very um, good person leading this country very well. But um, sometimes when the crisis comes, you and I wouldn't understand where the crisis is coming from. You understand? But um, this is what um, Renzo said. He says that he cannot govern with Conte because the country is lacking and there's a lot of um, crisis. But in other hand, um, some says... Uh, Matthew Renze resigned in order for them to go for a quick election like what Sabini did some years ago where Sabini think um, he, when, when, when he asked for a quick election they can vote for him to come to power all alone and they did that Sabini did that and he got him, he got him loose and now Matthew Renze has also did the same thing thinking that maybe after the election um, Conte will lose for him to come to power so that they can join hand hand with um, far right that is Matthew Sabini so that they can come and crash the sanatoria and the migrants and everything so now here is the case since they contest to have the power it does not affect the sanatoria this is the update of the sanatoria because we all know that um, agriculture minister belanova is the same person who was enforced the sanatoria for migrants in agriculture worker domestic workers and bandante workers okay that is the caregivers she is the one that enforced it to come and now that she is no more, she was in charge, but she is no more, her party is no more again. But since Conte still exists, she's, he says that it does not affect the sanatoria, okay? Because he is still in the party or he's still in power. It does not affect the um, sanatoria document. Assuming if Conte did not win and Sabini came in, that is where Sabini could cancel the sanatoria. But now, sanatoria is still working. And those of you who are still waiting, they have been assured that they will be calling all of you one after the other because uh, now there are a lot of things that is going on in this country that is messing up uh, um, document issues. Now, we all know that document again has been extended. Those of you whose document expired from November coming now, has been still extended to April 31st. So if you have a document that has expired, that means you still have to um, use it like that because it's still working until April 31st. Document expired from November, don't get me wrong, okay? If you are in Italy here and your document has expired from November, it is still not expired. Automatically, it has been renewed for you. 
though the date shows that it has expired, but automatically it has renewed till April 31st before you can go and renew. And we don't know if they will still um, extend it again. I don't know about that. So now, Sanatoria is still working because Conte still have the power, okay? So if you think him, Sabine will come to power. Sabine has been defeated totally and he's no more coming again, okay? So um, that is what I have for you for now. And now let me go to the humanitarian document. This time I want to make a very quick, quick video so I don't want to keep long. Humanitarian document is going to be given to all migrants in this basis, okay? He said coronavirus reasons for stay permits coronavirus reasons for stay permit now the court has ruled italian court has ruled that coronavirus should be the reason why humanitarian documents will be given to migrants out here and those who seeking asylum will be what granted because of the coronavirus it says it is a calamity hmm? the court has ruled that Okay, so I'm going to read. It says, coronavirus reasons for staying permits. The decision to grant humanitarian protection will be will be reported will be reported to be automatic. Assessment will be made on case by cases basis basis, looking at the social and economic consequences caused by the pandemic in the migrant home country. Italian court has ruled. Okay, so let, here is the explanation. They will check, for example, if you're like from Ghana, Nigeria, Gambia, Senegal, they will check in your home country how many people are being affected by coronavirus, okay, before and um, economic reasons, okay, before they can grant you this um, humanitarian document which lasts for two years and it, you can convert it into permit of staying you can you can take it into a, a multiple de lavoro whatever that you want to do with now all documents has been allowed to be what convert into multiple de lavoro or permit of staying okay good so now the court has finally ruled about these cases so most of you who will be going to commission this time or those of you who are waiting for your commission or those of you who have applied for appeal if still coronavirus is not yet gone that means this will be the one of the reason why you will get the humanitarian document which lasts for two years okay because they he said they will check there will be a what um assessment will be made on a case by case basics looking at the social and economic consequences caused by the pandemic in migrant home country okay so for example if we're from nigeria they will check how your economic is and how coronavirus has destroyed the country before coming here and that alone can make them give you the humanitarian document okay so because the court has ruled about that you know here in italy everything it is um, depends on the court when the court rules that is when they start giving you what you deserve like cut out the identity before because have any cancel it but the court have to rule over that before they bring it into enforcement so now um they have making this Court has ruled this to become what enforcement. So the lucky ones will be able to what grant uh, they will be grant them humanitarian protection will be reported not to be not to be but automatically assessment. That means it will be automatically they will assess it automatically will be made on a case by cases basic looking at social and economic consequences caused by the pandemic in the migrant home country so you understand what i mean that means there is a good news coming from somewhere and i believe we all have to pray for them to make sure everything goes successfully you know this is a very great news for people who are living in italy here because um, now the court has finally ruled over over this so when you go to commission they have to check uh, it's different from your story don't forget that your story is different and this is what the court has also ruled because now um the pandemic is everywhere okay the pandemic is everywhere in, in the world so they check your back country where you're coming from how the coronavirus has destroyed um has destroyed things and the economy and the social things that is not going well they have to bring all those things into consideration before they will, can they can grant you the humanitarian document which you can use to work here in italy and even go to any other country that you want to go with um, a work reason you can still go because the um because the humanitarian document is what 
um, is being convectable. You can convert it. You can travel to Africa and come back again with this um, humanitarian document. So, guys, this is what I have for you today. Okay, uh, we tried all our best to may get one or two things for you today. I didn't go to work. I'm at home today. That's why you saw me here. Um, there are a lot of news I have gathered, but I'll be making it one by one. Okay, after this video, I'll make another one about the same sanatoria and migrant issues and what you really need to know. There are a lot of bonuses that is on the floor right now, which I told you guys to go for your easy without your easy you cannot make any bonus okay in italy here and i'm begging you if you are on my channel as a new person please subscribe if you are if you haven't subscribed just do that and if you don't hit the like button you expect the channel to stay where it's supposed to be and which is not like that we have about eight thousand subscribers and um you have to do more to it okay thank you so much for being here god bless all of you i salute you remember coronavirus is real stay negative okay until we meet again tomorrow god bless you before i forget guys listen there is one of my friend who used to call me from rome um you were a Ghanaian man and with your wife and child you guys used to call me but i lost your contact i really need to talk to you about something important you told me about how you can get married um with your wife or of your uh, with your nula oster and things i forgot your number i've been calling you all this while because there is a solution for you so you can call me okay you remember um you told me your name and i forgot i've been looking for your number everywhere i can't find it so just call me and then um we'll, i will give you all the details that you need because now is the time that um i give you have to give you the information because um, i lost your contact and i got all the information that you needed now okay so call me and Let's do this together. You are a Ghanaian. Your wife is also a Ghanaian and with your baby. Okay. You're living in Rome. So if you remember me, Bright Future TV, just call me and I'll give you the information that you need. God bless all of you for coming. Please hit the like button and share this video to a friend or a brother.